Hey everybody, Ms. Dietrich here. We're looking at question number two, and I have to admit I really don't like this question at all. They want you to select three statements that are true. So let's get rid of the ones that are definitely false first, and then we'll go back and look at the ones that we're really not sure using some thinking about histograms and data points and medians and means and modes. All right, so the one that I think we should definitely be able to get rid of right away is this last one where it says the mean is 6.875 flights. Because the mean, we'd have to add up all the values and divide by how many there are. And if we add up how many values we have here, we have 40 observations here, or 40 flights that people took. So um, we don't really know the number. We know that there are 14 values that are in this range, but we don't know if the numbers are, these 14 numbers are all zeros. They might be all ones. They might be all twos. They might be a mix of that. We don't really know. But we know that those 14 lower values are some number that are in the 0 to 2 range. So to say that the mean is this, we can't determine the mean whenever we're looking at a histogram. We just can't. So let's eliminate those as being false statements, because remember, we're looking for ones that are true. That's false. The mean cannot be determined. Now, that's true, right? So let's pick that one, because that's got to be true. All right, now let's look at some other ones that are a little bit easier to wrap our, your brain around. So let's, let's look at choice E. The range can be 10 flights. Now, what I've done to help you think about range, remember the range is you take the highest number, which would be you know, over here, and you subtract the lowest number, which would be over here. If we spread out all our data to upper and lower half and put them in order from least to greatest. Now remember, this number here, that last number here, it could be a 0, and this number could be a 14. But keep in mind that it could also be a 12. The 7 that were in this bucket, that last number could have been a 12. We don't know. So let's look at the hypothetical. If that's a 12, and over here, this might be a 0, a 1, or a 2, but let's assume that it's a 2, because it could be that. If we subtract this and this, 12 minus 2, is it possible that it might be 10? It could be. So it's not saying it absolutely is. It's just it's saying that it can be. So that's actually true. So we're going to pick that one. All right, now where it gets a little bit dicey is picking out of the remaining three, because D doesn't even make sense to me at all. It says, the mode can only be nine flights if there is more than one mode. And remember, mode is the number that occurs most often. So um, if we kind of take a look at, we, we, we have an awful lot of category of zero to, to two. So the mode, we might have, this might be split right down the middle. We might have you know, a third of it might be zeros, a third of it might be ones, a third of it might be twos. And over here, uh, we might have like one or two values that's a three, one or two values that's a four, one or two values that's a, that's a five. So you have to kind of keep that in mind when we think about choice D, because that's a little hard to wrap your brain around. Let's take a look at choice A and B, because they're talking about the median. Now remember the median, when you put all these numbers in order from least to greatest, so I just have little black dots to represent the numbers. But keep in mind, the first 14 numbers that we have, they might all be zeros, but they might be like a couple of zeros, a one, you know, a couple of twos. We don't really know. But if we concentrate around the middle, because if we think of what's half of 40, it would be 20, right? And if we look at what we might call the lower half of the data, that would be these two buckets. So the first 20 dots, that, that this last dot, it might be a 5, okay, that last dot right here, this dot. But it also could be a 4. Let's just put the hypotheticals of what it could be. It could even be a 3. Now, this dot right here, which would represent that first grouping of the upper half of the data, that might be a 6. It might be a 7. It might be an 8. It could be any of those three numbers. We don't really know because, you know, all eight of these numbers could potentially be an 8. So what you have to decide is you have to look at the hypothet that last dot. So if we it came up with the median, remember the median, we have to take two of these numbers and add them up and divide by two. Are any of these numbers, if we put them together and divide by two, going to give us either four or seven? That's what you have to ask yourself to determine whether A or B could be correct. Um, so the reality is if you get this question wrong, I might give you credit anyways just because I think it's a horrible question. All right, good luck trying to figure this out.